Hey, Metamuck here, and March of the Machines has launched, and it is bundle time. One of my favorite products to open up. So, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this. There we go. Got it. Elspeth, this is the, uh, one of the cards we're looking for here. So hopefully we can pull that. <coughs> <coughs> I apologize for that. I do have a bit of a cold, so bear with me. Let's go ahead and pull that out. I'll pull out the die first. I'm really glad that they stayed with the Phyrexian Pearl White. Um... Still kind of got the Phyrexian symbol here, but you can tell that it's, uh, they're taking fight back. So, let's, uh, lucky number seven. Seventeen! Okay, well, that's par for the course there. Go ahead and pull out our set packs here. Look at this, we got our basic land pack. We've got alternate art, Kelta and Marvin. I'm not going to go ahead and open those right now. Seen what they are. Let's go ahead and put that off the side. And let's dive into these. Um, I have a pre release video that is up already, as well as a set booster. So um, if you haven't seen those, please go ahead and check those out. Also, I have uh, a 300 subscriber giveaway going on. We currently are sitting at uh, 291 subscribers, so nine more, and I'll be doing the giveaway. And that giveaway is okay. Let's see how's this going. Go to the art card. Okay, these are American U.S. printed. So there's our art card. Um, I'm giving away three cards to three subscribers: a Forniclex, Monstrous Rider, Raider rather, a um. Sword of Feast and Famine from the list, and a Borderless Boseju. So, uh, three subscribers are going to get a crack at one of those three cards. All right, Surge of Salvation. This is a great card. I'm really excited about this. I think that it's going to get a lot of play, so I'm happy to see that. I'm going to start out slow going through this. I like to appreciate the artwork, and uh, as we go through, I will pick up the pace a little bit more. Okay, we got our first Constellation artwork. Okay, we got a rare here. Okay, we got Gairuda, Doom of the Depths, as our first rare, followed by a Nahiri's Warcrafting. And a Foil Traumatic Revelation and an Incubator Token. So, uh, yeah. So, if you're not currently subscribed, please consider giving me a subscription. Um, I do giveaways randomly throughout the year. Um, and uh, generally at uh, big milestones. So, would love to have you join the family here. Sorry about that. But yeah, uh, check out my other videos. The pre-release and the set boosters. Uh, some spicy pulls in there. Very happy with the set booster box. Kamigawa. And we're going to Maganda. Okay, we got a rare. Okay, we got Drana and Linvala. Vampire Angel Combo as our rare, and we've got a Bonded Herd Beast and a Treasure Token. So, what's everybody think of the set? Are you excited for it? Not excited for it? Oh, we got a sign signature card here, and this is Aaron and Gada. 
Okay, that's kind of cool. And we got ourselves a full art swamp. The artwork on this set is absolutely fantastic. Um, they keep outdoing themselves as far as I'm concerned. Each and every set that they go to. Burn. We got, a, we got a commander card here. We got um, Shahili and Halar. That's a mythic. Along with a Lutri Spill Chaser Elemental. Why would they? Why would they do an alternate artwork on something that is already banned? That I don't understand. That. Oh, we got a rare. Okay, we got Sram Senior Edificer in the Kaladesh. Format that is pretty cool to have, and we got a invasion of Tovada. I haven't seen this one yet, which turns into the broken sky. And we got a Twiddler card. For those of you who don't know, Twiddler is uh, another YouTuber. He does uh, prim primarily. Um, Giveaways, uh, not giveaways, but um, battles, box breaks, stuff like that. Okay, here's what we're hoping to get one of. Yeah, you should go over and uh, check out Twiddler's Place. A lot of product openings you can buy in. He does some contests. He gives away stuff uh, via duck races. Uh, it's just a good time. And those cards he uses in his game. And that's why we have adopted them as Twiddler cards. Okay, we got a Rampaging Raptor. For a rare. As well as a Zephyrian Lancer Foil. And an Incubator, incubator Token. What am I looking, hoping to pull out of this? Obviously, a Ragavan, Elspeth, some of the Paraders, the Sword. Well, any of those would be great pulls to get. Eldrain. Okay, we've got Imothy. Sabrant Bounty. This is in the Invocations from Amonkhet. Okay, we got Yarbo, Yargol and Multani. Frog Spirit Elemental. Cosmic Hunter. And, oh, we got Geth's Grimoire. Whenever on the list card. Whenever an opponent discards a card from his or her hand, you may draw a card. So that's our first listy hit. Down to three packs. Okay, we got another swamp. There's Elspeth delivering the uh, final blow there. New Capenna, Freya, okay, we got Arya, the Widow of the Realm, turns into the Furnace Queen, and we got a Gloomfane, Mauler as our foil. Last two packs. So let me know what you think of the set so far. What are you looking for? What are you hoping in the poll? What are you going to put in your decks? I'd like to know. For me, Surge of the Sal of Salvation is one of the big cards I was hoping. To, not a big card. One of the big major cards, though, that I wanted out of the set. Um, I think it's going to be very handy. 
Okay, we got Fire Song and Sunspeaker as our rare with an Ancient Imperiosaur. This is another card that I was uh, looking for in the set, so happy to get one of these. As well as a Grafted Butcher. Okay, Phyrexian Samurai. That's cool. And we've got a Foil Rare Invasion of... Segovia. That turns into Kyatis Sea Tyrant of Segovia. Okay. The last pack. We're going to get a big hit here. Who knows? It's anybody's guess at this point. But we got some dino action here. Here we go, Commander card, Liliana's Talent. Setsuku Omizawa, Fugitive. A rare Guardian of Girapur. It is a two generic, one white, three three creature, angel. Uh, flying, when it enters the battlefield, ex exile up to one target creature. Or artifact you control. Return it to the battlefield under its owner's control at the beginning of the next step. Alright, we got a thrashing front layer. And we've got an unmask rare on the list. Let's see, you may remove a black card in your hand from the game instead of play, paying unmask mana cost. Look at target player's hand and choose a non line card from it. That player discards that card. Okay, so not major hits, but not bad at all. Excited about it. I'd like to hear what you're looking for in this set. And as always, don't forget the 300 subscriber. Like, subscribe, and thanks.